Welcome back and today we are going to continue with uh, our Hibernate tutorial for Java programmers. If you've completed part 2, you've done real well and we've set up everything in part 2. In case you've not done that, go back to review part 2 because everything follows from part 2. So we are going to be talking about many to one relationship and this is kind of the easy kind of relationship and I'm going to show you what we are going to be working with. Before I continue, I'd like to remind you subscribe to my channel so that you kind of motivate me to make these lessons. And also, if you have challenges, need support, write me in the comment box below and tell me what you want or where you have some issues and I'm going to respond or even reach out to you to support you. So subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button below. So there are two relationships we've seen here. One of them is between the user and the post, you can see. And the other one is between the location and the user. <clears throat> Now, if we are going from the user to the post, it means one user to many posts, right? If we are going from the location to the user, we have one location to many uh, users. So if we are going to be adding annotation one to many, then we are going to be adding this one to many in the users because it's going from user one to many posts. But now we are talking about many to one. So we are going to be talking about making, creating a relationship from the post to the user. Many posts, one user. Many posts, one user. So we are going to create a many to one mapping in the post that will be referencing the user. And we are also going to be creating many to one mapping from user back to location. Let's see how it works. It becomes clearer as we go. Now we need to annotate step one, annotate the location field of the user entity with at many to one annotation. So make no mistake about it, we are going to the location entity. At this point, I'm going to just close everything and I'm going to open the location entity. My system tends to be freezing up. All right, so. We have the location, so at this point we have, um, so annotate the location field of the user entity. The location field of the user entity from user one, uh, from, from the user to the location means many users one location. So we're actually going to open the user entity. My system tends to be, okay, I think I'll have to fix this. So in the user entity, so we have this location field here and we are going to annotate it with at many locations, at many users, one location. So the many side is the class in question. So in this case, we are working with the user class. The one side is a field. So the many side is a class. This, this case is a user class and the one field is the field. In this case, location is the one, okay? So it's quite easy, it's quite intuitive to follow. And again, control shift O on your keyboard. So this comes from, from the java.persistence uh, namespace. All right, so we've created this relationship and now we are going to annotate the user field of the post entity uh, with many to one. So this is also easy, go to post, and many posts to one user, so at many to one. All right. When you use this annotation, the entity decides to handle the relationship. In this case, the entity handling the relationship is the post entity. So wherever we put this annotation, that entity is going to do the mapping, right? Because there is the relationship. In Hibernate, one entity can handle the relationship. In this case, when there is a relationship, a mapping between two classes, when you use many to one, you are telling that particular entity, in this case, the post entity is going to handle the mapping. And in the other case, the user entity is going to handle the mapping between the user and the location. And how does it do it? The user now will have one additional field called location ID. 
And in the post, the post will have one additional field called the user ID. So let me just show you what is happening. So at the back end, uh, when you do this class definition in Spring, what we did, Hibernate is going to create this table in this way at the other side of it, right? So it's going to actually not put a, a field called location. It's going to create a field called location ID. Make no mistake about it. We are going to check it in the next part when we configure H2 database. We are going to see the database that is created and see what fields have been created in these tables, right? So let's now move to the next part. That is part four, where we are going to configure H2 database. So I'd like to thank you for viewing. I'd like to encourage you to continue learning. It may not be easy for now, but with time it becomes clearer. If you've not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe now. And let me know how you feel. And if you have any recommendations as well, let me know.